This example will show you how to create a pie chart in R. I have to admit, pie charts in R are not as easy as and straightforward as other graphs we're going to do in R. This is probably actually the hardest one we have to do. So if you want to create it in something else like Excel or some other program like that, you're more than welcome to. But I will show you how to do this. So the first thing we need is an example of creating this. We're going to use some data that actually is favorite colors of a person's friends. So we have the different colors that people chose and the frequencies. So the first thing we need to do is put in those frequencies. We need to give it a name. So I'm going to call them the frequency of color. So I'll go back into R and I'll just call that F color just to give it a name. Again you put a less than symbol and, an, and a dash to kind of make it look like an arrow is pointing to this name and then C says combine these numbers together. And then I'm going to put the frequencies in order that I saw them. So there they are in order. I put spaces in between mine. You don't have to. I just happen to like spaces between. So I have all the data that I needed for this frequencies. And then I want to do a pie chart. That's easy enough. You just say pie. And then we want to do it of F color. If I close that parenthesis and hit enter, notice I get a graph. It doesn't have a title. I don't know what these categories are, so this graph actually isn't very useful, and I don't really particularly like the colors that it picked. So I'm going to go back into here, into the command mo uh, commands console, and again, you might have to go into Window to do that instead of what I get to do on my Mac, but um, you can get back to the console. And so we're going to actually change this. You can actually hit the up arrow, and it'll bring back the last command, and then we can arrow over and then we can change some things. So we want to put some labels on this and we're going to do labels equals C and then we're going to put in the labels for the different colors. Um, make sure they're in the same order as the frequencies you put in. So if you change the order of the frequencies, make sure you change the order of the colors. Make sure you put these in quotes because quotes says display this exactly as you see it. So the first color was red, then orange, then yellow, then green. The next color was blue. And the next favorite color was purple. And then the last one was other. Um, so I did have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frequencies. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss any. Close the last quote, close that parenthesis for labels. Then we do want a title, so we're going to do main equals favorite color. <laughs> close that quote. And then the color, we can actually just say one color, but I'd rather see every one be a different color. And so we want to do rainbow. Notice this is not in quotes. So we do rainbow, and there are seven categories, so we're going to do rainbow with seven, so that it'll pick seven different colors then hit enter. Again, um, you don't see anything happen because I didn't close the window with the graph in it, so I just have to go back into window and bring up the graph one. And there's a much better graph. I can see the different colors. Um, I can see them all different colors um, and uh, can see a little bit more about what's happening. And, and that's how we create a pie chart in R.